All right, guys. I'm out here with Kyle and Jack from Wisconsin. We're battling the grass out here. There is a ton of grass, but we're gonna tough it out, see if we can catch some fish, so check it out. It, it's gonna be hard to tell if you got a fish on there because you got that big heavy sinker on there, which I'm sure you guys don't use three ounce sinkers up there. And then you'll probably pick up a little grass as you bring it in because there's definitely grass up close. Hopefully there's not a whole lot of grass out there. About got it in. It's getting in here real close. There's a little guy on there. You got your little hardhead catfish. You can go ahead and set that in there. Did you know there was catfish out here? No. <laughs> He's asking what we're, what we're gonna catch. I said, buddy, I have no idea. I know it's a little guy, but is that your first saltwater fish? That is. You gotta get your picture with him. Now, super sharp barbs. You don't want to get poked by him. You can hold him like I am, or I got fish grips. I can put fish grips on it. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Go from the belly. Go from the belly. Get the. There you go. Now watch this one too. Don't let that one stick you. Ah, uh, something on there. I saw something on that bottom drop. Another catfish. These guys might keep you pretty busy today. <laughs> That's good. You can set that back in there. Well, he's an inch bigger, right? That is bigger. <laughs> you didn't know I was going to wear you out so quick, did you? <laughs> That's why I like when there's deep water up fairly close, because you don't have to throw so far. You can get them in a lot quicker. Is that just the change of the tide? Yeah. Yeah, the high tide's around noon today. Oh, no. The big one. The one. <laughs> This one's gone super slack. Here. There you go. He's on there. I am going to try to get one out a little closer. This is pretty shallow right here in front of us, but we might get lucky and find some whiting in tight. Have you ever a shark? Oh, yeah. We, we catch small sharks from the beach. Another catfish. Did you know you were going to drive? What is it? What'd you drive, 1,100 miles? Yeah. <laughs> Catch catfish? <laughs> Hopefully we'll find something else. Oh, okay. That's fishing. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can only catch what's out there, I mean. That's a monster. <laughs> he might be in that rod as well. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, go under, there you go. Yeah, that was a good hit. We might have two fish on. We might be hooked up on both of them. Who's got the fish on? Or do we both have fish on? I say he might he might be swimming at you. So I was gonna say, cause you're a good ways over here and he looks further out that way. Yeah, you're right here. You've almost got yours in. There you go. You got you a lady fish. There you go. All right, you can go ahead and put that in there. That's a blue. Now, that will bite your fingers off. That is a stud blue. That is a stud blue. Heck yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a, that is a good blue. Are you guys keeping any fish today? Okay, I was going to say, because this would be a decent one to eat. You're welcome to keep anything you want. No, I'm not keeping anything. So that's a blue? Yes, this is a blue fish. If I can get that. He is hooked so weird. There we go. Now, see teeth. those teeth? Uh, he's holding. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Wipe some of that sand off of him. Sure. Yeah, just keep your fingers out of his mouth and nothing. <laughs> but yeah, that, that is a nice blue. Real good blue. Now you gotta make sure you're taking good pictures because you're gonna have to send me these, okay? okay. Is that a good one? <laughs> May not be able to scoop fleas. A lot of grass right where those fleas should be. What do we got? Oh, it's a giant catfish. There you go, the biggest catfish of the morning. Let me go put this up real quick. It is pooping, you're right. 
Oh, uh -huh, you're gonna hold it till it started to poop. Is that the thing? <laughs> it's just poop. Kissing for good luck? You sure? It's a lot of blood. <laughs> it's salty. It's good for you. Is there a fish on there? Can you tell? Cause I know this one's got a ton of grass on it, but oh, there's something on there. I can see a fin. Big old lady fish. Cause I thought that looked, I thought it looked fishy when it bounced there, but I wasn't sure. These guys really don't have teeth, but they're, they're just rough in there. Kind of like a bass, but more rough than a bass. You gotta throw it out a little further. There you go, that works. All right, today we are using the Salty's Pompano Rigs. We got fresh dead shrimp. We got fish gum, and that's all we're using today. We might try to scoop up some sand fleas here in a bit, but this is what we're gonna start out with. All right, what we're set up today, there's not a whole lot to it, unfortunately. Up here real tight to the beach, it's pretty shallow. You can see where those waves are breaking. They pretty much roll in all the way to the beach. So it's pretty super shallow here, but that sandbar right where those waves broke, that's actually in fairly close. And we're able to throw over that sandbar by a pretty good distance. Up close isn't fishable, even if we had a deep hole. That grass is so bad up close, it just, it's shutting down the fish. And we tried it three minutes and that line was drugged down. So we're able to cast over the sandbar a good little ways. At times, it's not fishable. The grass just comes in these great big mats. It'll get all over the lines and start dragging them down the beach. But for most of the time, we just got a hit right here as I'm explaining this. Are we hooked up, maybe? Keep an eye on this one, Jack. I don't know if he was on there or not. But for the most part, we're able to get base to sit out there for, for a certain amount of time. It may be five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Every once in a while, it's just a minute or 30 seconds or whatever. But we are getting some time to fish throwing over the sandbar. Doubled up again. Might be some more catfish. What do you think? You think it's going to be more cats? Got a little cat. Nothing. Oh. You picked the wrong rod. Here you go. Grab that one. Grab that one down there. Go grab that one. That one's getting a hit. Let's see what Jack has over here. I'm going to pick some of this grass off while he's reeling that bad boy in. Tuna. Damn it. I hope it's a tuna too. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be it. Another kitty cat. What's up, buddy? Yeah, fish was hitting that as I was trying to loosen that drag up. You still feel him? Yeah. About 95% of the fish you're going to catch out of the surf are going to be three pounds and under. Okay. Now, we do every once in a while catch a big old red or a big old drum or a big jack, but just a vast majority of these fish are three pounds and under. A jack is a big, mean fight machine, dude. They hit and your rod will bend in half and they will go screaming down the beach as fast as they can. They straighten a lot of hooks out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Start walking backwards, walk backwards with that. You got you a pompano, buddy. Heck yeah. That's awesome, dude. That's a pompano. Reel in a little bit of that slack. Heck yeah, dude. Uh, I'll kiss this one. All right, we're gonna get him to kiss one. <laughs> we're getting a picture with it too. Oh yeah. Do they have big teeth? No, but something has chewed on his fins there. Look at that. Those are usually long and pointy. Huh. That one's a little blunt, a little rounded. There you go. Awesome. That is the prize. Oh, wait, you want to kiss him? <laughs> oh. kiss you. There we go. We got him to kiss one. Awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would have been a keeper. Yep, that is the prized fish out here. That's what everybody wants. So. Oh, my God. It's huge. He's pulling a little bit there. Probably a little catfish. It could be it could be a little six inch catfish with five pounds of grass on there with how it's gone. Yeah, those grass mats are getting real bad out there. 
really starting to come in a lot heavier than when we first started. He's getting close. He's right over here. There we go. But in these rough, dirty conditions, and this isn't super rough out here, but I mean, it's, it's a little choppy, but these catfish, they get really thick when the water gets dirty. Cause this water is super brown out here today. I put Jack and Kyle to work down there. I'm, I'm making them catch me some sand fleas so I don't have to work as hard today. No, that's a joke. <laughs> they, they wanted to try to catch some sand fleas. I, I don't make anybody do it, but if they want to do it, I give them the opportunity to go out and see if they can scoop up some fleas. Got a little wet trying to get some sand fleas there. Yeah, every once in a while you have one of those rougher waves come in, they get you. <laughs> now, now you got to prove dad wrong. It can't be a catfish. It, it probably will be today. But hey, you've already got one pompano. Why not be a second one, right? Never know. And hey, maybe it'll be a new species we haven't caught today. That'll be cool. Add another species to the list. Well, I saw some grass on there and a fish, but... Looky there! It's a new species. You got you a nice whiting. A what now? That's a whiting. A whiting? Yep. Yeah, you'll have to get your picture. And there, there's nothing on here that's going to hurt you. But a $100 bill says you will drop this fish. Let's step back here so we don't drop him in the water. Looks like ah! <laughs> there, I told you. They're, it's a whiting. And they're the hardest fish to hold on to. No, not for me. Huh? Not for me. Not for you. Oh. All right, now you got to turn him to get a good picture, though. Here, let me wipe the sand off his head. Now, ho hold, hold him. Get him way out. Oh, he dropped it. No, see, that's what happens. You talk a little trash. <laughs> Come on. That's, that's twice. The third time you drop him, you got to kiss it. Squeeze him a little good. Don't crush him, but squeeze him. If you control the head, you control the fish. Awesome, dude. Jack, is this the first time you've ever been surf fishing? Yeah. Does that mean I'm the best surf fishing guide you've ever gone with? Yeah. There you go. Best surf fishing guide. You heard it from Jack. <laughs> All right, guys. It is getting hot. I mean, it is going to get hot today. I'm pouring sweat. The grass just kept getting worse and worse as the day went on. But Jack and Kyle were awesome. They, they caught several nice fish for the conditions. And as the day went on, as the tide came in, the conditions did get worse. A lot more grass moved in. But they toughed it out. They were awesome. I really enjoyed having them out here. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. So until next time, I'll see you later.